Fix Dry sent me this machine on the condition that I tell you about it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you about it. Um, it's a filament dryer. It works. Thank you for watching. <laughs> this is High B 3D Reviews. Buzz buzz. Reviews. Whether you're new to 3D printing or have been around for a long time in the hobby, there are some things that just seem to never go away, and that is people troubleshooting prints. If you're on any groups on Facebook, Reddit, wherever it may be, people are going to have questions about dialing in their prints and getting their specific prints to look better. And there's two things that have become almost a meme at this point in the 3D printing community. The first one is, did you level your bed? Or you need to level your bed or clean your bed. And then the second thing, which we're going to talk about today, is did you dry your filament? The following screenshot is an example of every single Facebook post you'll ever see about having issues with print quality. Hey guys, I'm a beginner at 3D printing and accidentally summoned Malamortis from the Abyssal Void. He is threatening to consume all living. Anyone run into this before? The filament was too wet. Needs to be dried and stored properly. Lol, you need to dry your filament. Before I jump into the specifics of this machine and my personal experience with it, I want to set a few things straight. This machine was sent to me for free and this video isn't sponsored by Fix Dry. Um, they just reached out to me, asked if they could send me the machine and in return if I would make a video sharing my honest feelings on it. Those of you who have been around the channel for a while know that honesty is the thing that I value most. I want to be real, I wanna share my honest opinions and um, and let you know what will actually help you in your 3D printing business and what won't help you. Um, and so although they offered uh, me a 5% commission on every purchase, um, I will tell you flat out how I feel about it, whether that makes me money or not, because I want the best for your business. I moved the machine here on the table next to me so that you can uh, look at it while I talk about it. Now, the main feature of the Fix Dry dryer is that it can hold two spools at once. Most filament dryers that you can get off of Amazon, um, a really popular one that I have is the, the Sunlu one that looks like a white box. Let me get it. This one from Sunlu, um, it's a great filament dryer um, and it costs $50 on Amazon whenever I got it. Um, but, you know, obviously it only holds and stores one, one spool of filament. This one stores two and costs $80. Um, other than that, I mean, it just, it, it works. Like it doesn't, it's not going to dry any faster than any other dryer or any slower for that matter. Um, it just, it, it, it works really well. It's got this nice little display on the front with a power button on the left an options button below and adjustment buttons on the right. Um, it shows you your current temperature, your set temperature, and how long you want the filament to be dried for. They also include this handy chart in the manual of different recommended temperatures and times for different types of filament. In addition to those features, one thing that this machine has that the Sunlu one doesn't, and that's what I'm comparing it to because that's my only other filament dryer that I've ever used, is an internal hygrometer. It can tell you the internal moisture content of the machine. And so when you put a filament in and it starts drying, it will tell you how wet the filament is and at the end, how dry it was able to get it. I don't have a way to test the accuracy of this, but I mean, when I put the filament in, it was wet. When it came out, it was dry, printed better. Um, and so I don't think that there's any funny business going on here with the uh, hygrometer. So that, that's a nice little detail for them to include that you can actually see how dry it is getting. Me personally, I live in South Texas, and one important thing to know about South Texas is that it is crazy humid. Year round, it's like 80 to 90% humidity all the time, which is not great for storing filament out in the open like I do. <laughs> um, but 
my, my filament gets a lot of moisture and filament dryers are really important for me to be able to get really high quality prints. Um, and the two filament capacity of this thing is a huge seller for me running my 3D printing business so that I can push more plastic through it at a higher volume so I can push more plastic, more dry plastic through my printer. So initially I just did some very basic tests. I took some filament that was printing with some moisture issues, dried it in the machine for the recommended amount of time in the manual and printed with it again. And the results were great. The, the filament was dried and the, the moisture issues were no longer. Now I don't have before footage of this, unfortunately, but I do have some of the prints from after and honestly, they look good. This is a dolphin from Zoo 3D. Really great layer lines, no moisture issues. Um, so I was like, okay, it works. That's a good baseline, but I really wanted to push this machine to its limits to see how good it really was for that price. Um, so I printed off a few mini spools and filled them up with PLA Plus clear PETG and a semi-transparent red TPU 95A. And, uh, and in order to make sure that these filaments were actually moist, I decided I was going to drown the filaments. Now, it was my initial intention to just drown them overnight, but things got busy and they ended up being underwater for just over three days. <laughs> And so when I pulled them out, um, they were most definitely good and waterlogged um, to the point that the PLA Plus got so brittle that it completely broke apart as I pulled it out of the water. But luckily I was able to salvage some strands of filament enough to run my test prints. Um, and so this is the results of, of that. Now, obviously the results aren't perfect prints that there was additional stringing and that's the type of thing that can be tuned out in the slicer with acceleration, Z hop, etc. cetera. Um, would I recommend this machine? Yeah. If you're looking for something that is more affordable than other machines, can dry more than one spool at once, I'd say it's a really great option. I would recommend it. Um, I don't have a whole lot more to say than that. It, it's, a, it's a good machine. It, it works very well. I, I don't know, as for longevity of the machine, it, it seems like it's made. It's really high quality. It's got this little metal. Um, the bottom is made out of this brushed metal and the top out of a really dense, um, what seems like acrylic plastic. And it, it, it works. So if you're looking to get yourself a filament dryer and you want this one specifically, you can use my code. It will help me out a little bit, but like I said, this review is intended to be to share my complete honest feelings, not to just make money off of it. So thank you for watching. This has been high B 3d buzz buzz.